Hi students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to cover different structures of operating system that are very important for a college or university level examination. So we will start with the introduction of different types of structures. After that, we'll cover the types of operating system structures as per your system requirement. So let's start with the introduction part. So an operating system is nothing but it is an interface that helps a computer user to communicate with the computer hardware without a proper operating system without any proper operating system a user cannot communicate cannot share data files with the computer hardware right so operating system can be implemented with the help of various structures only and the structures of the operating system depends mainly on how the various common components of the operating system are interconnected and melded into the kernel so all these tasks are based on the kernel systems of the operating system so before moving to the types of operating system types of structure of operating system you should know why we use the operating system structure so an operating system you all know is the central device is the interface that helps us to communicate with the computer hardware and also the operating system has very complex structure internally if we see it is it has always very complex structure so we always need a well defined structure to assist us in applying it to our unique requirements so whatever the requirements of a user are we always make a unique structure of the operating system just as let's take an example just as we break down a big problem into smaller let's say this is a bigger problem i am facing if I break this problem into smaller subsections and try to solve one by one all these phases, so it becomes easier to me to get out of this problem. Similarly, when we break down the problem into smaller, easier to solve sub problems, designing an operating system in parts is a simpler approach to do it. And each section of the operating system, each particular section of the operating system, component the approach of interconnecting and integrating multiple operating system components into the kernel can be described as an operating system structure so this is the basic definition of operating system structure now let's move to the types so here basically we have six types first is simple structure layered approach structure monolithic structure micro kernel structure exo kernel structure and virtual machines so here virtual machines are also very important topic so let's start with the simple structure first it is the simplest operating system structure and it is basically not well defined it is not well defined structure that means it can only be used for small and limited structures used in small and limited systems in this type of structure the interfaces and levels of functionalities are always separated so examination point of view say this top this particular point is very important in simple type of operating system structure the interfaces means user interfaces and the level of functionalities are very well separated hence programs can access because of this the programs can access the input output routines which can cause unauthorized access to the input output routines so this is the basic definition of simple structure right the interfaces and levels are not well separated or very well separated in this case right so ms dos you all must hear heard about ms dos okay microsoft disk operating system it is an example of simple structure of operating system in ms dos application programs are able to access the basic input output routine they have a power to access the basic input output routines and these types of operating system cause the entire system to crash if one of the user program fails so let's take an example over here 
that how the ms dos operating system or simple structured operating system works okay so here we have a layered system first layer is application program after the application program we have another layer that is resident system programs third we have is ms dos device drivers device drivers okay and fourth point we have here is rom bios basic input output system device drivers okay so all these devices are directly or indirectly connected to rom okay as you can see here all these devices are connected to each other if we talk about resident system program it is directly connected to rom bios device drivers and application programs are also directly connected to this so this is the simplest simplest structure of operating system its advantages are it deliver better application performance because of few interfaces between the application program and the hardware so in between the application program and in the hardware there are a, there are less number of interfaces that's why it provides us a better delivery next advantage of using simple structure is easy for kernel it is easy for kernel developers such as such an operating system so is tarah ka operating system jo bhi kernel developers bana rahe hote hain unke liye bahut easy hota hai kyunki simple structure ko follow karta hai and its functionalities are also very simple its disadvantages include the structure is very simple but complicated as no clear boundaries exist in between the modules so there is no clear no clear modules no clear boundaries are there in between these four modules that's why the data we stored here the work a user is going to perform with this operating system is not at all secure okay it does not enforce data hiding in the operating system so these are the advantages of using or disadvantages of using the simple structured operating system right so i hope everything is clear to you the entire operating system breaks if just one user program mal function kisi bhi ek program user ke program mein koi bhi error aata hai system hang hota hai so sabhi ka data loss loss hone ke chances yahan par badh jate hain this is the major disadvantage that we are that we don't want to use such operating system right next type we have is layered approach system okay so what is the layered approach in this type of structure operating system is divided into different layers or different levels the hardware is on the bottom layer hardware here is on the bottom layer that is the layer number 0 while the user interface while the user interface is on the top layer that is the layer number n n can be any number here okay these layers are managed in a hierarchical way so it always follow hierarchical form okay these layers are arranged in a hierarchical way in which the top level layer use the functionalities so top level layer always use the functionalities of the operating system of their lower level levels right in this approach functionalities of each layer are isolated so every layer has their unique functionalities and it always work on hierarchical format and one more important point here is functionalities of each layers are always isolated in layered approach structure and abstraction is always available here in the layer structure we always use debugging okay and debugging is 
easier as it uses the hierarchical model right so now let's talk about the advantages or disadvantages of using layered approach so each layer has its own functionality that is the advantages so work tasks are isolated and abstraction is present up to some level so abstraction here means data hiding debugging is very easier as lower layers are debugged and then upper layers are checked so that's why the layered approach is said to be the best approach nowadays disadvantage of using this structure is layering causes degradation in performance okay so degradation some users can feel can see the degradation because of the layered structure it takes careful planning to construct the layer since higher layer only utilize the function of lower layer so higher layers always just utilize the functions of the lower layers right next we have is monolithic structure right so monolithic structure is nothing but it is an operating system in which the kernel acts as a manager here the kernel acts as the manager by managing all the things like file management memory management device management operational processes all these things are managed here by the kernel of the operating system as we all know in every operating system kernel is what it is the heart of operating system so kernel deliver basic services to all other elements of the system and it serves as the primary interface between operating system and the hardware whenever we talk about monolithic structure kernels can directly access all the resources okay like physical hardware expendable keyboard mouse etc kernel can directly access all the external hardwares all the external resources here okay the monolithic kernel is another name for the monolithic operating system and batch processing and time sharing maximize the usability for this and allow it the multi programming system okay its advantage is the it its simple structure simple internal design is the advantage the all the things are managed here only by kernel that means kernel is responsible for all the uh, task performed here okay so this is the advantage here using the same address saves time for address allocation for new processes and makes it faster next we have is micro kernel structure okay so micro kernel structure designs the operating system by removing all essential components of the kernel that is the micro kernel structure here non essential components of kernels are implemented as systems and user programs hence these implemented systems are called the micro kernel okay so each micro kernel here in this operating system is made independently and is isolated from other micro kernels it always works independently its advantages are ki it allow the operating system to be portable so portability is the major advantage of using micro kernel structure okay so portability between different platforms because micro kernels are smaller they can easily successfully tested so testing is also easier in this structure next we have is next type we have is exo kernel structure this is not very important but let's just talk about its uh, basic definition only right exo kernel an operating system called exo kernel was created at mit mit with the goal of op offering application level management of hardware resources the exo kernel architecture's goal is to enable application specific its goal is to create application specific customization customization by separating resource management from the protection also the exo kernel size tends to be minimal 
due to its limited operability. Next is virtual machine. So virtual machine अपने आप में ही एक important topic आ जाता है. The hardware of our personal computer including CPU, disk drivers, RAM, NIC. NIC means network interface card. ठीक है? Is abstracted by the virtual machine into a variety of various execution context based on our needs. Using CPU scheduling and virtual memory techniques, an operating system allows us to execute multiple processes simultaneously while giving the impression that each one is using a separate processor and the virtual memory. So, this is not virtual machine means not a real machine. It is a virtual operating system. Okay, so due to total isolation between all these virtual machines and every other virtual machine, there is no issue with security. So always remember there is no issue of security in virtual machines. That is the advantage of using this. So nowadays, so many computer in so many computer systems, we use virtual operating systems. It is a very easy, easily available. Easily accessible and recovery convenience facility is provided by virtual machines. That is also an advantage of using it. And the disadvantage is it depends on the workload operating system. Numerous virtual machines simultaneously on a host computer may have adverse effect on one of them. Means if in one virtual machine, लोड अगर उस पर ज्यादा हो जाता है तो दूसरे सिस्टम पर उसका इफेक्ट पड़ सकता है जो कि नेगेटिव भी हो सकता है एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू हार्डवेयर एक्सेस वर्चुअल कंप्यूटर्स आर लेस इफेक्टिव देन द फिजिकल वंस सो दिस इज आल्सो एन डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ वर्चुअल मशीन्स सो सो आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर टिल नाउ इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन कमेंट बिलो सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग